Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We've got some stuff to do in the Red Light slash Diwali Territory District. Um, but before that, I want to do a couple more things outside of that. There was a special members only lounge at the back of the cigar lounge. I want to see if maybe this abandoned store is something I can get into and perhaps make my way back there through a vent or something. Also, I have three Praxis and I should probably spend it. Um, I think I'm going to get the final level of stealth for hacking. And... You know, I really seriously don't feel like I need to get uh, the ability to hack a higher level. Most of the things I can hack and the things I can't, I'm not running out of multi-tools. I could increase Fortify. Um, the truth is, I actually don't have that much more to spend my Praxis on that I'm like super interested in getting. I'm kind of holding off on the experimental things just because we got that Neuroplasticity Calibrator, which Kohler should be able to install at some point. They're going to contact us when they can, and that will make it so we won't have to overclock anything, so we won't have to choose something to disable. There is stuff I could safely disable that I really don't care about and I'll never use, but Still, just in case, I'd kind of prefer to wait. And honestly, the only really interesting thing in the experimental stuff is the Icarus Dash. It allows you to kind of shoot forwards. That maybe would be good for stealth. If you're trying to like get across a long open spot, could maybe use that to get across it into cover. Um, but aside from that, I'm thinking maybe invisibility? I kind of worry that, you know, I feel like the stealth is pretty fun so far. I feel like if I get invisibility, it might make it actually too easy. I don't know. But, like, I really don't have that much more to spend my Praxis on. So, you know what? Let's just go for it. If I don't like it, I can always stop using it. So, it's two to purchase it, and by default, it uses a high amount of energy. So, let's get this next one. Takes it down to... Oh, right. I already spent one Praxis. Never mind. That's it. <laughs> we'll uh, make the battery part of it better later. Uh, speaking of, what is it assigned to? F1. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, so I've heard, by the way, that the cloaking thing, it uses less power if you're not moving. So let's actually test it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's actually not too bad if you're standing still, but if you move, it is so fast. Cool. Right, so abandoned store. A goddamn Hmm. Oh wow, it's just open. This is a very cursed place. I just imagine somebody sitting in this royal chair, taking us two bites of their hamburger without any plate, setting it on the table. They put their gun down and they watch static. So no vents, huh? Huh. That's disappointing. Wait, that's a fan, though. Well, that's in the direction of the pharmacy. Hmm. Oh, right. That's the... That's the place where I got the six neuropazine in that uh, gas field place behind the pharmacy. Okay, remember we read that email talking about how they, somebody suspected there was a Janus, uh, like, operative or contact that sometimes made contact with Janus in the coffee shop? Well, here's the coffee shop. It's open. Let's check it out. There's also a 
place I can go to up there. Let's start down here, though. Umíte česky? Pomůžete mi? Já se ztratila. I'm sorry, I don't. Check me out. <laughs> That's so cheesy. Praha for life. Nechte mě bejt. Mám už plný zuby toho, jak se mi pořád někdo ptá, kam jdu a s kým se bavím. Nikým už nemluvím. Cheap, expensive, imported, export, whatever. Haven't we got rid of them yet? So, whatever you're looking for, I'll make you a difference. You don't mind if I just walk back here? the code to this. Okay. Ooh, a lot of money. This isn't worth it, cousin. The Zelen woman must be crazy. Pushing two golem shipments in one week is stupid, when once every two weeks is already risky. I know your family and all that, and the extra cash is great, but I'm not sure I want in on this anymore. My ma would dig your own grave if she knew what you'd got me into. You might need to find another driver, sorry. Point of interest for that. Neighborhood watch. Um, sound of the local smuggling ring operating in and out of Golem mentioned the Zelen woman, so if I want to investigate, I should probably pay closer attention to my neighbors. Oh, right, I live in the Zelen apartment buildings. Well, I'll do that some year when I <laughs> end up going back to my apartment. In the meantime, Let's get up here. Eugene, stop your work. I can only hope this catches you in time. I tried calling you, but you're not answering, and the person I spoke to at the university said you're not at the university for the foreseeable future. The sample I sent you is live and should not be used. Do not expose yourself to it. The risk of mortality through respiratory failure within 36 hours is extremely high. I can only say how sorry I am and hope that you're checking your emails. I can't believe this has happened, but... After I sent you something you could use for your cross-tests, as we discussed, I took a closer look at the overshipment paperwork and realized it wasn't what I thought it was. Uh, that is to say, the batch I borrowed from was supposed to be inert, but for some reason it was a live strain. The problem was, and I don't know why we're even handling this, the material appears to be part of an order we're hand handling for our parent labs in Hong Kong. I'm just shocked that something like that is quietly sat in short-term storage. BSL-2 is supposed to be used for part synthetic biomaterials used in emulation tests. If I'd have known, I would have. Um, I don't know. Wait, if I'd have known, I would... What? If I'd had known, I would have. I don't know, but this is awful. I don't know what that means. Please get back to me as soon as you read this and put my mind at rest. 
Thank God, it's just a micro sample at least. You should be able to dispose of it fairly easily if you have protection. By Gellin Laboratories Incorporated. Is this a bioweapon or what? Respiratory failure within 36 hours? Termination notice. I reviewed the cases of your two students, Jessica and Gustav, very carefully when first suspended, and I have been no less diligent during this follow-up in trying to determine their future here at the university. We are not a court of law, where specific transgressions receive specific punishments. Our situation is much more nuanced. This is a place of study and learning, and we have a duty to ensure that the majority of students have every opportunity to apply themselves. Of more concern, the presence on campus of augmented students researching nanoviruses, a chilling weapon in the potential future arsenal of terrorism, can create anxiety on campus and within the public perception surrounding our establishment, regardless the intentions of the students. The board of directors have left me little choice in applying the strict stance we have in supporting the authorities. Regard... It, 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 regarding terrorism? I think it's supposed to say. So it is with regret that I inform you that the relationship between our university and these two students is to be upheld. As I said, this was not my decision alone, and we have the interests of various parties to consider, but I do stand fully behind it. I continue to understand your concern in this matter, but implore you to allow the process to play out as it should. As mentioned earlier, we have arranged for you to take some involuntary leave to gather yourself and return refreshed and focused after the next, uh, before the next semester. So the students were terminated just because they were augmented in researching nanoviruses and that made people scared. Because wasn't the um, the incident a nanovirus? That's so fucked up. Oh, it just leads back here to the basement. Cool. So I've decided to go back to the other district where our apartment is to follow up on that point of interest and some other stuff that I have been putting off. Um, and I just came here and noticed this. This is the person that was trying to sell us on the on I Wabia. Have a permit. It's not like they did not see me working here all day. Man, it looks like someone tossed their place. I just came from the Udalek complex, Felice. Golem City. Those people haven't been relocated. They've been detained. And they're running out of supplies, space, of hope. I told you. We cannot control how the government handles Udalek. I was not even permitted to recruit there. If I did, I'd fill my quota in 30 minutes. Shipping everyone to Rabia doesn't mean things would go differently. Augs are being dehumanized. You don't fix that with eco-friendly architecture. There are two problems with Udale. A construction problem and an ideological one. Mr. Brown learned from past mistakes, and now we have checks and balances in place to screen out the undesirable elements. Checks and balances? What I saw in Gollum City goes deeper than security screening. Really? Then what do you think the problems are? The real problem is a militarized police force who see the people they're supposed to protect as threats. There's no common ground, no oversight, no accountability. Rabia will be policed by Santo's own security services. They are augmented like us, and since Rabia is a corporate state, they have a vested interest in the city. It is part of the new city vision. Corporate security answers to the corporation. It's in the name. If the new city vision starts eating into Santo's bottom line, how long before they're pulled out? Mr. Brown, Santo has invested too much into Rabia for it to fail. It has to succeed, not just for the augmented, but for the future. I hope it pays off. I wonder what this place looks like at night. I, have no time for your push. I wonder if it's changed much like the other place. Look, madam. You're oh. Get out of here, I'll... Whoops. <laughs> uh, let me just deactivate that. Oop. Hello. Oh wow, those those lights really pop at night. I 
know if that exosuit was here. This place is extra locked down. Oh shit. Did you see what they did to her? Why are we drawn to such things? What's wrong with us? It is not unhealthy to be curious about death. What is unhealthy is to do such things. Poor woman. Poor woman's family. They say she was an augmented journalist, one of the few moderate voices left. Yeah, this is that alleyway where that augmented journalist was dismembered. I'm... You're joking, right? Curious and disturbed at the thought of going in there. What are we gonna find? Is the body still there? I gotta check it out though, see if there's something I can do to help. It's really cool the way things link up. You read about it in the newspaper and then, what do you know? It's here. This is this like an internet cafe? <laughs> Everybody's computers are so big. <laughs> okay, so what does this place look like? Just... Oh yeah, I remember going back there all the time, actually. To get down into the sewers. Just the one entrance. Uh, I guess I'll just try to jump over? Oh. Oh, you can just rip it. It makes me scared to leave my home. That's impressive. Anything you say, sir. Detective. Oh shit, there's the body. We can't let them get away uh. with this. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. Oh, maybe they'll talk Have to me you then. Found anything? Just away from the crime scene. Oh Jesus, sir. Oh God. Let them get away. You have to tell us. Excuse me. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing will be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... You're not a cop, are you? I work with someone else. Another agency. That's perfect. Do you outrank the police? Depends who you ask. The detective here. He... he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest, because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? It's natural to be scared. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. 
Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I'll talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? <laughs> what do you think? What was that? Alright, I wanna try to solve this case. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they I are? definitely want to solve this case. Optional, investigate the scene. Needle? There is a piece of a broken needle sticking out of Angela Gunn's right shoulder. Just because Monte trusts him doesn't mean I do. <laughs> this is a horrifying crime scene. Oh Christ, the right arm too. Or left arm rather. It was also torn off along with her legs. Um Nasty bruises. The recent looks like the killer strangled her and even left a partial fingerprint. There are cutting marks above Angela Gunn's arm. Looks like she had an augment that was forcibly removed. We're two years too late already. The only way I'm continuing this conversation is over a beer. Okay, so that's all directly there. So there must be more evidence <laughs> around here. Could be right around the corner. Murder victim's press ID card. 
crafting I think parts. You found something. Yeah, I found crafting parts. Away from the crime scene, sir. Pretty obvious what happened here. Broken glasses. Are you a journalist? No, but she. So was. it looks like they were. She had like it started here, I right? There's been a series of these. Tabloids write that shit to solve copies. No, this is real. It's old. A ripped out augmentation. Whoever did this didn't seem too keen to keep it for themselves. They just wanted to separate it from the body. Okay, so we have one more piece of evidence we need. Ah, oh, here's the final piece. EMP fragment. Looks like it came from an EMP, used primarily to disable electronics or people who rely on augmentations. So what's the order of events here? So an EMP to, uh... What, disable their... Augmentations? Try anything. Incapacitate them, and then... So. What about the needle, though? I mean, disabled, and then... Strangled, and then drugged? And then they hacked off the limbs, or what? It's quite elaborate. Enjoying yourself, detective. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. Great. Very helpful. Thank you. Alright, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can, but unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years, but that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. Thank God I'm here to actually do something, then wow. People hold a hell of a grudge against hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power, a reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. 
I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Intopol. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Sounded like she might have seen something. Oh, little Miss Mousy. I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good enough to talk to. Yeah, that was kind of a pointless question. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an AUG. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing. Knew exactly what he wanted. Huh. <sighs> The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the AUG removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and AUG removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. I don't think that's nothing. That sounds important. Found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. 
It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. I have what I need for now. I should go. Don't forget to question Daria. I don't want to keep her here forever. I've got a lot of information to go on. Um, Who do they think they are? I don't think there's any point in talking to Daria again, but let's just I have double some check. questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. Oh, they are willing to talk right now. Okay, cool. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? <laughs> the answer to that is obvious. I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. I'm trying to imagine Adam Jensen in high school. And it's just... It can't be anything but funny. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him. He's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Ugh. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark, uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. You can't? There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh, God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Wait a minute. Their name is Daria. D. Hmm. They might be the escaped asset that we heard about. They seem a bit strange. They seem very strange. I'm a bit suspicious about them. What if they did it? I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. I 
think they are augmented, aren't they? They have a little thing on their forehead. And some of the characters in this game, like the, the main ones, the important NPCs, they look really good, don't they? <laughs> okay, well I think we have all we're gonna get here. I, uh... Yeah, I didn't expect this to be such a big thing, but I'm very happily surprised. I can't wait to work this case. I really want to find the killer. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna continue the case. <laughs>